Hi everyone, I'm Verona Chadwick, physiotherapist, acupuncturist and nutritionist. Now today I'd like to take a few minutes to unfold chronic fatigue. What is it? How do we diagnose chronic fatigue? How do we tackle it? It seems like a very broad topic and often you go to see practitioners, doctors and they really don't have the answers for you. So it, it is not just a matter of popping a pill. It's really what we need to do is get to the root cause of why your body's energy factory is shutting down. Now there can be a number of reasons. Now the first place we're going to start is with your diet because if you don't put it in your mouth, it ain't there. So basically we need to make sure that we have a balanced diet so we've got adequate amounts of protein, carbohydrates and good fats to provide the nutrients that we need for the energy factory to run, for our brains to function, okay? Then once we've got the food coming into our mouth, we need to make sure that we can actually digest properly in our stomach we have adequate digestive enzymes to absorb the nutrients from our food and we can utilize those nutrients the way we need to. Okay, then we can do testing to actually check how the cell's energy factory functions. Is there a block anywhere? Do you have a block in being able to utilize carbohydrates for energy, being able to utilize fats for energy? All right, so if we identify that, then we can actually help to give you nutrients to kick that system along and get your energy back into gear. All right, now without that cellular energy factory, there are spin-offs throughout the body because often that means that our brain doesn't work very well and it means that our liver is not gonna work very well. So we often have brain fog and can't think and can't concentrate and just don't have the motivation to get up and go. So again, we can check how those brain neurotransmitters are functioning. Do we need to actually supplement with nutrients to directly get the brain to switch on and be alive and awake and yay, I can think again. Okay, so there are things that we can do to help you kick along out of that chronic fatigue. The next area we need to look at is our gut health. Sometimes we may be harboring a parasite, or we may have an overgrowth of candida or bad bugs. Now those are going to eat our resources. They're going to drain your body of nutrients that should be coming through to our cells to create energy, but they're not. So we need to help to clean up what's going on in the gut so that what we eat goes through to our energy and we can feel so much better. The next area we need to look at is our stress hormones. I'm thinking mainly about cortisol now cortisol is the hormone that sometimes we just get so caught up with so much stress that it just goes out of control. But as well as having too much cortisol being stressed, we can sometimes have not enough and that's called adrenal fatigue. So if you've been stressed over long periods of time where you're not getting enough sleep and your body's pretty well having to run on cortisol, that's going to put a lot of drain on our resources of being able to provide cortisol. And cortisol, we need to actually just get out of bed in the morning to be able to function, to have that energy. We don't want too much. We don't want too little. We need a good amount of cortisol that can keep cycling throughout the day. Okay, now our liver. If our liver is not functioning well, we may be harboring toxins and that can make us sick and malaise and feeling really sluggish and not being able to get going. So that's another area where we need to just check out whether your liver is functioning well and we can certainly help you with that. There may be in environmental toxins that you're exposed to that you're not aware of and a common issue that I see, particularly up where I live in northern New South Wales, is damp and mould. And if there is something hiding in your house, you know, mold might be in the walls, it may be just a very small area that you're just not aware of. And that could be making you sick and making you tired and draining your energy. So we need to sometimes be the detective to go look for any of those things. Or the other thing that I'm thinking about is often chronic fatigue starts with a virus. It may be the herpes virus. It may be that you had an obscure viral attack at some stage some years ago, and possibly your body hasn't quite cleared that viral load. So we can also help you with that. 
Now certainly that list of things I've chatted to you about today is not exhaustive. There's a lot of other things that we need to fine tune and really to get to the root cause of why you have a problem with fatigue and you just can't seem to get going, right? If you want to know more, I'd love you to personal message me, then we could possibly arrange a 15 or 20 minute chat um, to see where you're at. I'm also going to be doing a webinar shortly on chronic fatigue to, that can uh, unpack a number of those things that I've chatted about today. So stay tuned and I'll let you guys know shortly when that's going to be. It'll probably be in a couple of weeks or so from now. All right, so thank you for listening and bye for now.